One of my favorite examples of choosing who you'll be comes from a book called A Higher Call. It takes place in World War II. Five days before Christmas, 1943, there's a brand new pilot, first mission. His name's Charles Brown. His plane is beat up, half his crew is dead or dying, he's missing an engine, missing part of his tail, and he's just limping along over the German countryside trying to get back across the English Channel. As he flies over, there's a German fighter pilot who sees this plane limp by above the treetops. And this isn't any normal fighter pilot, this is Franz Stiegel. He's one kill away from earning the Knight's Cross, the highest honor in all of the German Air Force. He smiles at his buddy and he throws a cigarette on the ground and says, I'll be back in a few minutes, hops in his plane and takes off. Comes up on the plane and it's going so slowly, he actually kind of comes up on it quickly and decides to do a flyby because he can't figure out what's going on. Nobody's even shooting at him, there's no defenses, and as he comes up close, he can see into the plane through some of the holes and he can see some of the, the, the dead bodies and the blood. And, and as he passes the plane to circle around and come back and kill it, he looks over at the cockpit and he makes eye contact with Charlie Brown. He thought, I can't shoot him down. He came back and got in position and he's like, I can't do it. And he thought of the words that his, um, his commander had told him. His commander had said, you've got to set your own rules for yourself about what you'll do in war, otherwise you'll lose your humanity. A code of honor, as it were. In that moment, Franz Siegel decided that he could not shoot them down. Now it's a court martialable offense, punishable by death. Not only that, Franz's brother had been killed in the war by Americans. His countrymen were being bombed by them, but he could not do it. Fast forward, and both these guys are, are in their 70s. Charlie Brown's having nightmares about that day, and he wants to find out who was this man that saved his life. Through a series of events, um, he came to get in contact with Franz, and they met in a hotel in Florida. The event was recorded, and people were asking him questions, and after a while, somebody asked Franz, says, what do you think of Charlie? And he got quiet and he didn't say anything and tears welled up in his eyes and he looked up at Charlie Brown and he said, I love you, Charlie. How is it possible that he could love his enemy? As you go deeper into the story and you get to talk to Franz, he said, war does everything to take the humanity out of you. You do a lot of things you're not proud of. And he says, saving Charlie's life was something I was proud of in the middle of all of that ugliness. The story has merit in its own right. How does it relate to us when we find ourselves in conflict with others? Even if things don't go well, we can still treat other people with respect because it's who we want to be. We have our own code of honor. I determine the rules that tell me how I'm going to behave and I'm going to behave right and I'm going to do what I feel is right because it's important to maintain my humanity even in a situation where I might be tempted to exaggerate the truth or to belittle someone or to use sarcasm. It's important that we have our own code of honor, just like Franz Stiegel did.